Hey guys, Jennifer here, and in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you four super fun themed lunch ideas. And you guys, even though these lunches are going to be really cute, they're also going to be super quick to put together because there's actually no cooking required. So if you're looking for some fun lunch inspiration, stay tuned. Now, before I get started, I am going to be using some new lunch boxes this week, and they are super cute. These are called Yum Boxes, and no, you guys, this video is not sponsored by Yum Box. I actually ordered these boxes quite a while ago, and with everything going on with remote learning, I just never had the chance to use them. So, even though my kids are going to be eating these lunches at home, I decided to use these cute bento boxes anyway. Now go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up, hit that red subscribe button, and go ahead and click the notification bell, that way you don't miss out on any of my future videos. And now with all that being said, let's get started. So this week I'm making a special themed lunch for each one of my kids, and I'm going to let them pick the theme and then I pick the food. So first up, I'm going to be making my daughter Mackenzie's lunch. Mackenzie is 10 years old, and for her theme, she picked Hello Kitty. My the first step for this lunch is to put together some chicken salad. I know Mackenzie is a big fan of egg salad and chicken salad in general, but since I just made her an egg salad sandwich last week, this week we're going with chicken. And I'm gonna keep this pretty simple here. I just added a can of drained chicken. I'm gonna be adding in some mayo. Next, I'm adding in some very finely diced celery. Now I'm going to finish this off with just a little bit of salt and pepper. Then I'm just going to mix it all together. Now I have a couple of different Hello Kitty sandwich makers, but I decided to use this big one today. This big guy is so cute, but unfortunately it's a little bit too big for my regular sandwich bread. So instead I'm gonna go ahead and use this kind. It's a little bit longer and it should fit this cutter a little bit better. I really think that the trick to making these cutout sandwiches is to not add too much filling, otherwise they tend to fall apart. Now I think this one turned out pretty good, so I'm gonna go ahead and add it into Mackenzie's lunchbox. I also added a little bit of lettuce to go along with it, and now I'm gonna go ahead and move on to her fruit and veggie. For her fruit, I'm adding in some cantaloupe, and to go along with the Hello Kitty theme, I thought it'd be really cute if I cut these into a little bow shape. Now, technically, this bow is actually from a Minnie Mouse sandwich cutter, but that's okay. Both Minnie Mouse and Hello Kitty are fans of bows, so it totally works out. And now I'm gonna go ahead and use that same cutter to create some really cute cucumber pieces. And here's the trick, you guys. If you have a cutter that's too big to cut out the slice, try slicing your cucumber this way instead. That way you have more surface area to use your cutter. Next, I'm going to add in a little snack for this lunch. And since this is Hello Kitty themed, I thought some pink goldfish crackers would be perfect. And I'm just gonna put a few right in the center section of the lunchbox. For Mackenzie's sweet treat, I'm gonna be adding in this little box of strawberry Pocky. Again, it's pink, so it goes with Hello Kitty. And now to complete Mackenzie's lunch, I let her pick out her own drink, and she decided to go with this tropical fruit medley, and there's actually hidden veggie juice in here as well. Okay, you guys, here's Mackenzie's lunch before. And here it is after. What'd you think, Kenzie? What was your favorite part? I really like the chicken salad sandwich, but I didn't really like the cantaloupe. Okay guys, so next up is my son Jackson's lunch. He is eight years old, and for his theme today, he picked dinosaur. But you guys, like I said, these lunches are going to be quick and easy. So for his main course, I'm actually gonna be using this really cute dinosaur sandwich cutter. It makes sandwiches super cute really fast. So that's exactly what I'm going for. I'm just gonna add a little bit of mayo in here, followed by some slices of pepperoni. This is actually turkey pepperoni, so it's not as greasy as the regular stuff. And now at this point, I'm not actually going to be putting on the cheese. That's going to come in a minute. I'm going to go ahead and just add my other piece of bread with a little bit of mayo as the glue. Then I'm going to very carefully push the sandwich cutter through the sandwich. Now at this point, I'm actually going to take my slice of cheese and I'm actually cutting it in sort of a little zigzag pattern. And then I'm going to very carefully open up these little dino sandwiches and add it in. That way it kind of looks like the back scales of a dinosaur. Well, kind of, you get the idea. Now I'll go ahead and add these into Jackson's lunchbox. And just for fun, I am gonna go ahead and add in just one little candy eye sprinkle for the dinosaur's eyes. For Jackson's fruit, I'm keeping it super simple here. I thought I would just go ahead and add in some green grapes. Well, technically these are cotton candy grapes and yes, they really 
really do taste like cotton candy. And I'm gonna go ahead and call these grapes dino eggs. <laughs> That way they go with today's theme. And I'll go ahead and add a little dino pick right in here as a fun decoration. Now over in this section, I'm gonna be adding in some carrots and I thought it'd be really fun to try my best to cut these carrots into little dino feet or dino footprints. I'm kind of just cutting each little round into a V shape and then I'm very carefully cutting like three little toes into each piece of carrot. Now don't ask me what kind of dino actually has a footprint like this because I can't even tell you. I am definitely not a paleontologist. I just like to make fun lunches and this is pretty easy to do. Now to go along with these dino carrots, I'm also gonna add in a little bit of ranch, perfect for dipping in. And then for Jackson's snack, I thought it'd be really fun to give him a tiny bag of these bugles. And I'm gonna call these dino claws since they are very pointy. And then for his sweet treat, I'm going really simple here. I'm just gonna be adding in a package of these dino fruit snacks. Okay guys, now lastly for Jackson's lunch, again, I let him pick out his own and he picked out a fruit punch with of course a little dino on top. So cute, I think he's gonna love it. Okay Jackson, what'd you think? My favorite part of this lunch was the sandwich, but I also liked everything else too. Okay guys, this next lunch is going to be for my daughter Lily. She is six years old and for Lily's theme, she picked out Ariel because she loves mermaids. So for Lily's lunch, I'm going to start by making her a good old PB&J. PB&J is something that she always enjoys, so I'm gonna go with that. And to turn this into a mermaid sandwich easily, I'm just gonna go ahead and use my little Lunch Punch Mermaid Sandwich Cutter. I did go ahead and add just a little bit of food coloring to my sandwich cutter first before I cut out the sandwich. Okay guys, so next I'm moving on to some cucumbers. And I thought it'd be really fun to go ahead and cut these into long, thin strips. I haven't done this in a while, so I think it'll be a fun change. And then I'm going to very carefully add this to a little skewer, and I've just bent it back and forth, back and forth, like this, so it kind of looks like seaweed or seagrass, I don't know, something that kind of goes with the under the sea theme. Now, if you guys know Lily, you'll know she loves her ranch, so I'm definitely gonna add some in here. Next, I'm going to be combining Lily's fruit and her snack together. In this little front section here, I'm gonna fill it up with some blueberry yogurt, and then I went ahead and cut out a little piece of cantaloupe to kind of look like a fish. I'm gonna place this right on top, so it kind of looks like a fish swimming in the water. Okay guys, now that brings me to Lily's sweet treat. And this is an idea that I've seen on Pinterest for quite a while, but I've never actually tried it. I'm basically just going to take some vanilla wafer cookies, and to this I'm gonna pipe on a little bit of this store-bought blue frosting. And then in the center, I'm going to place one of these yogurt-covered raisins. So the idea is that this looks like a little oyster with a pearl inside. How cute are those? These were super easy and they came out really cute. And now finally for Lily's drink, she picked out this little fruit fusion bottle with Ariel on top. Okay, how'd you do, Lily? This entire lunch was delicious. Okay guys, now that brings me to my son Griffin's lunch. Griffin is three years old. For his theme today, he picked Elmo. Now he doesn't actually watch a lot of Sesame Street, but he did get a Tickle Me Elmo doll for Christmas, so I know he's going to love this Elmo themed lunch. So for Griffin's main course, I'm going to start by making a classic cheese sandwich. Griffin loves cheese, and I'm gonna do something a little bit different here. I'm actually gonna be using one piece of regular bread and one piece of the heel of the bread, and you'll see why in just a minute. So I'm adding my mayo and my cheese, and now I'm going to close this up. Now to make this an easy Elmo sandwich, I'm gonna be using this really fun sandwich cutter, and I'm actually gonna cut through the sandwich with the heel of the bread on top, and that's because I have a few things I wanna to add to the top of the sandwich so it looks a little bit more like Elmo after it's cut. In this section where Elmo's eyes are, I'm gonna be adding in some extra pieces of cheese with some olives for the center. 
center. And then for his orange nose, I'm gonna be adding in a piece of carrot. And then for the inside of the mouth part, I just cut out an extra piece of cheese. Now you guys, let me know in the comments down below, does this Elmo sandwich look cute or creepy? I'm not quite sure, but I think Griffin will love it. Now to go along with this Elmo theme, I thought it'd be really fun to throw in one of these little smoothie packs. This has banana in here, so I know Griffin's going to love it. And of course, it's got Elmo on the outside, so it's perfect for this lunch. And then over in this section, I'm going to add in a few pieces of watermelon. And I'm going to add in this cute little Elmo pick as a decoration. Now for Griffin's snack, I picked up a box of these Elmo crackers. These are so cute with the little faces on there. There's also Big Bird, which is fun. I'm just gonna go ahead and fill up this entire section. And then to keep this lunch super simple, for Griffin's sweet treat, I'm going to add in a box of these yogurt covered raisins. And now last but not least for Griffin's drink, I don't actually have an Elmo drink topper already in my collection. They just don't make an Elmo one. So instead, I'm gonna be throwing in one of these little Elmo Sesame Street juice boxes, which is almost just as cute. Okay Griffin, what was your favorite part of your lunch? I like a sandwich and dipped for your garret. No goat. Thank you guys so much for watching and don't forget to come back tomorrow for more fun lunch ideas.